the challenge of the Yukon. Hong King, on your huskies! The Wonder Dog King, swiftest and strongest of Eskimo lead dogs, blazes the trail through storm and snow for Sergeant Preston as he meets the challenge of the Yukon. Sergeant Preston was typical of the small band of Northwest Mounted Police who preserved law and order in the new Northwest country where the greed for wealth and power led to frequent violence and bloodshed. Sergeant Preston and his wonder dog King met that challenge, and justice ruled triumphant. In an isolated spot on the Klondike River, young Ben Guinea lived alone with his father. It was early spring, but deep snow still covered the ground. Ben was taking advantage of the longer day and had been out setting his trap since dawn. It was almost noon when he approached his father's cabin. He stopped when he saw that the door was open and heard men's voices. He stole softly to the side of the open door and listened. There's a law. This is my claim. The law ain't gonna know about it. At least until we're out of the territory. And then, <laughs> maybe you won't be able to tell them. Ed and I are gonna split this gold we found hidden away. And then we're gonna help you work your claim. Some of my friends will find out. <laughs> You're never gonna be alone if someone comes visiting. You're gonna introduce us as two of your partners. And there'll be a gun in my pocket in case you get other ideas. Hey, Nick. Hey, what's wrong, Ed? There must be a kid living here with him. I found some kid's clothes in the back room there. Is that right? Have you got a kid? No. I mean, he isn't here. Now, we can see that. Now, where is he? Uh, he went away. Uh, he's staying in town. It'll be just too bad for him when he gets back. We can't be bothered watching a kid and you, too. I wish Ben had been around when you came. He could have gone for help. <laughs> I'm afraid he wouldn't have got very far. Me and Ed can run awful fast if we have to. Anyway, the nearest help is ten miles from here. <laughs> we checked that, too. Sergeant Preston of the Northwest Mounted Police was returning from the patrol. White Eagle, his favorite Indian guide at territory, was with him. They drove the dog team down the precarious mountain trail slowly. The sun was sinking in the west, and the snow was dazzling white over the valley below them. The valley's pretty with the sun on it, White Eagle. Oh, sun go down soon. What? Look. Looking! Oh, you husky! Why you stopped him? Look down there in the valley. Isn't that someone walking? Oh, me see him. wonder how he got so far off the trail. Wait, I'm going to have a look at him through my field glasses. Oh, how you think he'd get in the middle of big snow field? I don't know. Oh. Looks like a child going around in circles. White Eagle, he's fallen. I have to get to him. Well, how you get there? Trail go other way, around mountain. I'll get down there on skis. He can follow me, I think. You take the dog team. Well, me meet you somewhere? That boy must live somewhere near here. You go into the roadhouse as we planned. I'll take the boy home. Well, maybe boy not able to tell you where he lives. Oh, I'll be able to backtrack him, I think. He left the trail a yard wide in the snow. Oh, uh, roll up a blanket for me, will you? I'll pack it down there. It'll be almost frozen. Oh, me too. It's going to be heavy going for you, King, old boy. I'll go a lot faster than you do, but I have an idea you'll catch up with me. Hey there, young fellow. Wake up. Now, let me wrap this blanket around you. Well, your eyes are swollen because you're snow blind, son. Now, don't worry. You'll be all right soon. My dad, he... he... Take it oh. easy. Don't try to talk. I'm so tired. I'm going to carry you home. Come on, son. Over my shoulder. Now, don't try to talk. I'll follow your trail back. I'm sleepy. Well, you made it, King. Good boy. Come on. We're taking this boy home. Bed 
time. Pretty near nine o'clock. Yeah. I'm sleepy, too. I guess we'd better tie our host. Hey, come on, Ralph. Oh, uh, you don't mind if I call you by your first name, do you? <laughs> now that we're partners. <laughs> I, uh, I'm, I'm not sleepy. Where are you going to be tied up anyway? You might get the idea of going visiting or something. Now, get over there on that car. Please, let me stay up a while longer. He's I... acting awful funny. What you so nervous about? I guess you'd be nervous, too, if someone moved in on you the way you two did. <laughs> yeah, he's right, Ed. <laughs> but you're going to go to bed just the same. And you're going to be tied up. Nick, did you hear something? Yeah, I thought I did. And listen. Somebody's out there. I had to get behind Ralph. Yeah. Keep that gun in your pocket and keep it pointing at him. Maybe it's a kid. If it's my son, please don't. I'll do anything. If it's your son, you better behave. The first funny move out of you and he's a dead pigeon. I won't do anything. I, I promise. Keep the gun on him, Ed. I'll go out and see who's coming. I'll watch him. Is this your son? What? What? This boy. Does he live here? I tracked him back here. Why, uh, yes, uh, bring him in. Go on in, King. My son. Where did you find him? Down in the valley. He went snow blind. Give him to me. There. Ben, are you all right, son? Oh, he's asleep. He's completely exhausted. I'll put him here on this car. Are hey, you... Uh, you're Monty. Yes. I'm Bill Preston. Oh, sit down. <sighs> I'm Nick. This is Ed. Howdy. We're uh, Ralph's partner. Is Ralph the boy's father? Yeah. But Ben's all right. His feet and hands aren't frozen. Hey, we'd better put him right to bed and let him sleep. I'll carry him into his room, uh, here and back, and put him to bed. Oh, uh, but let me have a look at him. I'll put him to bed, Ralph. You better make some hot tea for the sergeant. But, uh, I'd You make some tea. The sergeant and I'll take care of Ben. Well, all right. I'll carry him. Hey, he's heavy. I'll bring a lamp. Come on, King. <laughs> Was he able to... Talk to you at all, sir? No, no, he wasn't. He was too exhausted. He'll be better off in here. We'd uh, better get his boots off. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, I think if he's just covered up, he'll be all right. He's cold, that's all. Better get another blanket for him. Oh, sure, sure. How do you want? King, King, old boy. Here, fella. Down beside him, King. Listen, fella. Got him. You hear? Guard him. Here's a blanket. Oh, uh, I'll take it. I put my dog up beside him to warm him up. Well, you'd better get some sleep yourself, Sergeant. You look all in. Well, I am pretty tired. I'll turn in as soon as I've had some tea. Is uh, Ben all right? Don't worry about him. You'd better sit down, Sergeant. Thanks. Um, here's your tea. Oh, thanks a lot. This will sure taste good. You uh, planning to stay here tonight? Well, I hope it's not oh, too yes. much trouble. Uh, you must stay. Of course you'll stay, Ralph. He's too tired to go any farther tonight. I certainly am. Uh, you can sit in the cot over there near Ben's room. That'll be fine. Uh, did uh, Ben say anything to you, Sergeant? Why, no, he didn't. Uh, where did you say you found him? Down in the valley, struggling through deep snow. Down in the valley? And you carried him all this way? I'm pretty tired. Uh, you'd better go to bed right away, Sergeant. I guess some sleep will help. Sure will. Did you say you all live here? Yeah, yeah, we're Ralph's partners. Oh. I, uh... Ain't we, Ralph? Uh, yes. Yes, you are. I'm, uh, sorry I'm so tired. Why I... don't you lie down right now? We can talk in the morning. I think I will, if you don't mind. I'll be leaving early in the morning. Maybe I better say goodbye now. Thanks for the bed. Oh, thank you for saving Ben. Dragging that big kid up these hills enough to wreck anybody. Oh, uh, you want us to wake you up? Oh, I'll wake up for all of you, I'm sure. Oh, uh, this bed sure feels good. Go right to sleep, Sergeant. Watch the boy, will you? We'll watch him, all right. Don't you worry. Come on, Ralph. You'd better lie down, too. What are you going to do? That ain't for you to worry about. Please, take care of Ben. Let me go to him. You're staying right here. That Mountie sure was tired. 
He's asleep already. Now, don't be too sure. Now, come on, Ralph. We're tying you up for the night. Ed, you sleep on the outside of his bed. But there ain't room for two people. Keep still and do as I say. Well, what do we do next? When the kid wakes up tomorrow, you tell her we ain't Ralph's partners. Get over on that bed, Ralph. I'm going. Don't worry. I'll fix him during the night. But the Mountie will know. I'll just hold the pillow over him. <laughs> He'll die of exhaustion. No, Nick. That Mountie's too smart. We'll wake the Mountie early. He'll be gone before the time for the kid and Ralph to wake up. Maybe we ought to take care of him, too. Oh, no. I'm not asking for that kind of trouble. Get Ralph tied up. I'll take care of the kid later. Sergeant Preston lay sound asleep on his cot near the door to the back room. Ralph, securely tied and gagged, lay helpless on the opposite side. Nick walked quietly toward Ben's bedroom, followed by Ed was holding a dimly lighted lamp. Quiet now. Don't get the Mountie. Hurry, Nick. Don't, don't get his pillow. <laughs> Take him away. Shoot this dog. Ed. Out. Dad. I'll get him. Put it out, Nick. Oh, yeah, don't... Hold him, King. Hang on to him, fellas. I've got you, Ed. Get up. Let go of my arm. You're breaking it. Get up. Ben, can you get out of bed and light a lamp? I, I think so. Try, will you, son? There's one over here on the table. Here it is. Good. Take this dog away. Take him away. Watch him, King. Keep him there. There. Now we can see. What happened? Get that gun for me, son. They're on the floor. Here it is. What? You're, you're a mountain. All right, King. Back, fella. Let him up. Get up, Nick. That devil almost killed me. I, I was just going to help the kid. No. You're the man who was here the my dad yesterday, and you were going to steal our gold and our coin. Stop you. That's enough of that. Get into the other room, you two. Come on, Ben. We'll see what's happened to your dad. Oh, uh, bring the lamp. Do you, do you think they killed him? No, maybe? he's all right, son. He just gagged and tied. Now, Ed, you and Nick stand right there and don't try to get away. Boy, you watch them, King. I'll get that gag out of his mouth. His hand's untied. Thanks, Sergeant. Is Ben all right? I'm all right, Dad. Sergeant, I never thought you'd find out who these men were. Well, there you are. Your face told me a lot when I came in tonight, Ralph. You looked frightened. And when you didn't dare leave the room to go in and see your son, I knew something was wrong. So, all that sleeping was just pretending. I put King in with Ben and told him to watch him. I knew Ben was safe, but I couldn't figure out just what you two planned to do. I couldn't tell you. I was afraid they'd hurt Ben. I knew Ben went for help because I saw a shadow beside the open door when he came home from trapping. They planned to kill him. Kill him? Why, the dirty... Never mind, no... Ralph. The law will take care of that. I, I never thought about that dog of yours. I told you we should have got out of here. You couldn't get out. King and I didn't sleep a wink all night, did we, fella? <laughs> Copyrighted dramas originate in the studios of WXYZ Detroit. And all characters, names, places, and incidents used are fictitious. They are sent to you each week at this same time. This is Larry McCann.